also at AUSA this year, General Dynamics Land Systems unveiled what they're calling the Griffin 3. It's an evolution from their Griffin 2 concept that was put forward for mobile protective firepower program for the US Army. Now this one, the Griffin 3, this features a turret with a 50 millimeter cannon. Uh, it's far larger than what's normally on an IFV. And you can see it in the configuration here. It's actually pointed right up to the sky, um, 85 degrees of elevation, and that's deemed necessary for future combat and urban warfare fighting. The turret's been manufactured uh, and developed by General Dynamics Land Systems in cooperation with the US Army. Um, it's brand new, and so if you look at it, uh, you'll see some quite innovative features on there. There's uh, UAS, uh, there's also an active protection system. This one uh, in particular is IMI Systems Iron Fists. Some more of the unique features are, as you can see here, this hexagonal camouflage. This actually comes from Armour Works, and it's supposed to reduce the, the signature of, of the vehicle. What we've been told is that the actual turret and the gun will fire next year. Uh, General Dynamics Land Systems is likely to put this forward for the next generation combat vehicle, which we've heard a little bit more about at the show. Uh, that's now accelerated, so uh, we're looking at a, potentially a unit being equipped by 2026. General Dynamics have hopefully given us a visual representation of, of the size of 50 millimeter ammunition. This is 25 millimeter ammunition. This is 50 millimeter. And this is potentially what's gonna be fired by the US Army's next generation combat vehicle.